this how-to video is going to show you how to use a via structure so in the previous video we talked about using the, the create fan out tool to obviously use the default via to, to fan out BGA's components wherever you need to put the buyers but, but in some instances maybe you want to create a custom via structure so the way you do this is, is basically root as you'd want it so if we were to, to start let's just pick a pin and we'll start routing um, I'm just going to show a very basic example then I'm going to add effectively a couple of uh, blind and buried vias so if we were to kind of look at this mode in a 3d view uh, let's just get a quick 3d view you can kind of see I've got this kind of layer 1 to layer 2, layer 2 to layer 3, layer 3 to layer 4 as a blind and buried kind of micro bias structure so if I'm happy with that that's what I want to use then what I can use is I can use the the root bias structure define and then just window select the items that I want give it a name let's put test 1 that then stores that via structure so I can then use that using the create fan out tool so if we go to root create fan out um, I pick kind of the start and end layers the default option comes up for the via structure if I want to include unassigned pins I can um, and you've got the other options in here but uh, and then the other important thing is obviously not to do it on a symbol basis because if I was to put this via structure on this pin I'd get lots of DRCs but I can then pick a row of pins that I want to add the via structure to I've also got options to kind of to rotate this so if I want to just rotate this at 90 degrees let's just zoom out a little bit you can then pick some pins down the right do a rotation at 270 and very quickly you can kind of start to build and use that via structure as you'd want on your design